What's up guys, this is Cod Cray from Incline Graphics and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom brush presets with a little effect, little scatter effect that I use in the backgrounds over here like with the triangles. Alright, first thing you want to do, you want to go to File New. Sorry if my keyboard's loud, I have to use my computer mic. My other one broke. Alright, first thing, you want to put the width 500 and the height to 500. It really doesn't matter, I just, it's just easier to work with a smaller space. And then your background content, set it to transparent. And then after you do that, you want to go down here to the polygon tool. And just leave it on polygon, because I'm going to make triangles. And uh, you want to set the size to 3, so it makes a triangle, not a 5-sided uh, polygon. Yours is going to be 5, so put it 3. And then you want to go down. So you want to go down. And you want to make a triangle. And center that if you want. And then you go over to where it says shape 1. You want to right click. And you want to hit rasterize layer. You have to do this or, it's, or else it gets screwed up. And then the second step is you want to hold control. And click on the thumbnail of the shape. If you're on an apple it will be command instead of control. And after you do that it outlines it in a little sketch. Alright and then you go to edit. Scroll down to define brush preset. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it tutorial. Or I'll just name it tut actually. Alright. After you do that. My voice just cracked by the way. Puberty. Alright. Uh, after you do that. You're going to want to go to. Your brush. And you want to find the brush you just made. It'll be the last one on your list. And you click on that. And set the size to about 50. That size works the best with backgrounds, I think. And after you do that, click on this thing right next to the, right next to this. I don't know what to call it, but just click on that. And then the shape dynamics. You're gonna want to copy exactly what I have here. It, mine's already preset because I made one before this. But the size jitter, you want that at a hundred percent. And then you want you want the minimum diameter to forty percent, and you also want the angle jitter to a hundred percent. And don't mess with any of the other shelf, or else it'll get messed up. So, next thing you want to do is go to scattering. And then you want the scatter to a thousand percent. And so it's not so bunched up when you when you paint it on your background. And then you only want the count to one. So it looks dumb when it has more. So one is the most spread out. looks cleaner on backgrounds if you don't have too many. And then the last thing you want to do is hit transfer. And the opacity jitter is what makes the different shades of triangles. So you don't have all one shade of triangle. So it helps it look a lot better. Because if you have all one shade, it just looks kind of poopy. <laughs> poopy. Alright. But uh, set it to 100%. It makes it a lot better looking. Way cleaner looking. Alright, so after you do that, you just want to hit this thing. And basically you just finished. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the backgrounds after you hit overlay. But then you can just do this. It looks pretty clean if you don't put too much of it. I just put too much of it right there. But Alright, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Go check out our channel. We're, up we're uploading videos probably two videos a day. A couple speed art, some tutorials. And thanks for watching.